During this holiday season, when spending time with friends and family has to be limited, it's nice to visit old friends and meet a few new ones, even if only through the pages of a book. Fanny's, Fanny Flagg's newest book, The Wonder Boy of Whistle Stop, gives us that opportunity. A heartwarming novel about secrets of youth rediscovered, hometown memories, and the magical moments in the ordinary lives from the beloved author of Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. Bud Threadgood grew up in the bustling little railroad town of Whistle Stop with his mother Ruth, a church-going and proper, and his aunt Iggy, the fun-loving Hellraiser. Together they ran the town's popular Whistle Stop Cafe, known far and wide for its fun and famous fried green tomatoes. And as Bud often said of his childhood to his daughter Ruthie, how lucky can you get? But sadly, as the railroad yard shut down and Whistle Stop became a ghost town, little was left but boarded up buildings and memories of a happier time. Then one day, Bud decides to take one last trip just to see what has become of his beloved Whistle Stop. In so doing, he discovers new friends, as well as surprises about Iggy's life, about Nanny Threadgood, and other beloved Fanny Flag characters, and about the town itself. He also sets off a series of events, both touching and inspiring, which change his life and the lives of his daughter and many others. Could these events all be just coincidences or something else? And can you really ever go home again? This story follows the life of Bud Threadgood through flashbacks to memories of his childhood with Ruth and Iggy and others from the Whistle Stop Cafe to his present day adulthood. We meet his daughter Ruthie and share the adventures of trying to keep up with his elder years shenanigans. My favorite is when he runs away from home. He gets on the activity bus and pretends to be going to church. But then, when he doesn't return with the others, they realize he has tricked them. Another great part is meeting Dot Weems, or rediscovering Dot Weems. She's a favorite character from the original story. She ran the Whistle Stop Town Post Office, and now she writes a weekly bulletin reporting on all the activities, claiming no gossip, just the plain facts. The desire to visit Whistle Stop again comes as the memories persist. Soon the reader discovers, discovers the journey is as important as the destination. You indeed can go home again. This newest offering by Fanny Flagg will not disappoint.